Uh, we've got the latest ad by the liberal PAC Midas Touch, and it goes after Republican Pennsylvania Senate candidate Dr. Mehmet Oz in a new ad entitled The Wizard of Lies. Take a look. to keep your promise to us, if you please, sir. And now I've got the number one miracle in a bottle to burn your fat. It is the new Miracle Berry. Lightning in a bottle. The miracle of the year. It's raspberry keto. C. buckthorn. Alpha cyclodextrin. Green coffee bean extract. Yacon syrup. Red palm oil. Garcinia cambogia. It's a miracle flower. It's a miracle pill. Brand new miracle. Do you believe that there's a miracle pill out there? There's not a pill that's going to help you long-term lose weight and live your, the best life without diet and exercise. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You may think magic is make-believe, but this little bean has scientists saying they found a magic weight loss cure for every body type. A recent study found the main ingredient in those magic beans not only failed to help lab mice, it gave them the early symptoms of diabetes. I'll fight to secure the border so we don't have to fly illegal immigrants into airports like this in the middle of the night. He actually had to pay the largest fine in American history for employing undocumented workers. $95 million? I can't even believe this figure. I'm a resident of Montgomery County. I voted twice, so I feel big time Pennsylvania. For years, he's lived in New Jersey, and his social media still frequently shows him at his North Jersey mansion. So he is running for office in a state he doesn't seem to want to live in. You humbug! He's completely changed his positions on just about every issue. At this point, Bill Cosby is a more credible TV doctor. I know you know how much power you have. You are very powerful. If you are really great and powerful, you keep your promises. Physicians say Dr. Oz is a quack and a charlatan. The only thing that people like Dr. Oz care about is themselves. You're a very bad man. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Boy, that's something. I mean, you know, uh, Jonathan O'Meara, I'll, I'll admit, I did not, uh, did not follow Dr. Oz's career um, closely. Uh, but it, it, the, all these things, these magic little beans that he said and these magic uh, extra, I mean, it really is. You line that up one after the other. What an unbelievable scam artist and a scam artist actually putting people's health at risk, doing anything to make money. Taking it, advantage of vulnerable. People. Yeah. Taking advantage of vulnerable, vulnerable people. Uh, and, you know, and, and this is a guy, in, you know, in the ad, he said, oh, I'm all Pennsylvania. I voted twice in Pennsylvania. He voted in Turkey in 2018, something that causes concern. Uh, and, and people were saying this in the Republican primary caused concern for, for national security analysts that you would vote and be active in a, uh, another country's politics. Uh, but but he didn't vote in the Republican primary that year, but he voted in Turkey, I mean, just there is so much material here. It's pretty breathtaking. Yeah, the green bean, green coffee bean extract is one of the vaunted miracle pills that he would tout on his show, but yet then have to walk it back while under oath testifying before Congress. And I think it is easy to overlook um, just what a huge platform he once had, uh, you know, getting a start on Oprah's show and then becoming a star in his own right, where day after day he would hawk products that later studies would show had little or no medical benefit. And certainly the Fetterman campaign is eager to seize upon this. I mean, that that ad, you know, <laughs> is one that's pretty damaging. And it's more than that. The New Jersey residency question has loomed large over this. In fact, the Fetterman campaign has flown a banner over the Jersey Jersey Shore, wishing Dr. Oz would come home and say, this will find you where you live. Uh, and it is a, a troll-like, almost, as one Democrat put it to me, a Republican-style bit of campaigning from Fetterman, at least so far, it looks effective. And for Republicans, they've nominated yet another candidate who seems, though blessed by Trump, to have some trouble in the general election ahead.
Well, and Snooky even from the Jersey Shore, uh, right. wishing him best of luck yeah. and saying she looked forward to him getting back home to Jersey where he lived. Meanwhile, Dr. Oz looked to capitalize on a report that looked into his opponent's 2016 endorsement of Bernie Sanders. Oz tried to compare the two with this tweet using a meme that was popular several years ago. Nice Photoshop. His opponent, John Fetterman, responded, posting this. I've got to say. Graphic design is my passion. I've got to say, one, one of my favorite political tweets of the year. <laughs> <laughs> you look at how bad the, oh graphic, my God. Uh, the graphic arts are. Yeah, I, it's, no, that's good stuff. Fetterman, uh, Mika, I will say, he, this guy... Uh, his campaign has has been aggressive and uh, been very effective and have pushed back hard on Dr. Oz, uh, wishing him luck from his New Jersey mansion. Of course, I think I think they, uh, they had uh, Snooky uh, wish him uh, best of luck uh, all while again. And now you have this third party group just showing one lie after another lie after another lie. And of course, you know, some of those commentators that were going after Dr. Oz, uh, yeah. They weren't doing it because he was running. The, the, the clip of uh, uh, from, uh, what is it, the news next week? I apologize. I, I'm, I'm tired. Uh, it was actually from 2013. Oh. And so, again, the, the, these are old file uh, footages and, and, and just showing he's a scam artist. A charlatan. And he's been a and scam he artist and he's been a charlatan people. for years. Yeah, no, uh, and I find it a little, I, I find him to be kind of scary that we're even that we're even having to have this conversation that, that, he, is, that he won a primary he beat in, he'd beat dave mccormick Pennsylvania. dave mccormick would be like <sighs> measuring the curtains right now yeah in the senate if republicans had selected dave mccormick there they also had in ohio dolan they had a main street republican that would have easily won the ohio race uh in arizona their opportunity they, they just they keep the, this republican party can, and look at Georgia. Once again, this Republican Party keeps doing everything it can uh, to, to blow these elections. This I'll, should be easy for them. Obviously, we'll be watching these races closely. And the